Remember that on the old internet era, there was a lot of people discussing what will be the hardest game to ever exist. And I remember that a lot of people were discussing about difficult, like if a game would require type pad, type mazes, and other kind of stuff to be hard. But I remember that when I was a kid, I used to see that kind of stuff and say, hey, a hard game will just have controls that the player don't know. And oh boy, that idea stuck into my mind into right now because I was taking my dog to a walk and then I suddenly got the idea. And then I thought, damn, I should make this. So well, it's what I did. I took up my computer and started coding. At the time, I was pretty much researching a lot regarding the Fantasy Console Pico 8 and also a lot of the game Helltaker, which is a really good game you should play by the way, I'm not forcing you, but you should play because it's a really good game. I swear to god, uh, you need to play it right now because I'm saying... So, I was searching a little bit and then I just got the idea. So, I'm gonna make a Helltaker style game which you have to go through a lot of puzzles and your controls get scrambled every single step or every single time you bump to a wall which my option was the second one because the first option was way too OP and way too um, stupid I'm not gonna lie, it was just... yeah, it's not that much fun so, I also took a little bit of uh, the idea of the controls getting around the player, like the Castle Crashers uh, minigame, I forgot the name right now, uh, I probably put in the edition, uh, I guess, but eh, it's pretty much like that, and I think it was going to look great. So, I first started to make some sprites, I made a little dinosaur, rack, and a little bit of some sprites, so the character could walk in a cave or something like this. So, I started coding a little and I made a small table that contains all the keys and all I have to do is every time the player bumps into a wall, this table gets scrambled. So, I'm not checking which key is pressed directly, I'm also checking the table. So, every time the player bumps into a wall and I have to check which key is pressed, I'm not checking it myself via the, via the keys properly and checking just on the table that I have created, which is a scramble. So the, therefore, the controls that a player press on their keyboard are also going to get scrambled. So, and after a, a little bit of time, I've made some levels, which was pretty simple, it was nothing that much difficult to be honest, because I'm not a very creative person in terms of level design, I'm not any Celeste creator, like seriously, this is a really fucking thing. I took a lot of time on this, I don't, not gonna lie, I kinda stole some levels from Helltaker 2, a little bit of rock design, because I'm just not that good at it, I'm not good, like I'm not really not good at it. So, after a lot of work, I finally made it, and I have finished a little game. You can now play it in the link in the description, the game is fully open source and the code is on the description, licensed by the MIT license. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I also made to ask some of my friends to make a little bit of help, including the soundtrack, which was made by Skydev, which you should check it out, he's a really good guy, he makes really good songs. Alright, that's it, bye!